Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat and the Pauper Gauntlet. I'm Dan and this is brought to you by mtgotickets.com. Check them out. I think they're still selling 10 tickets for $8 as a one-time offer. Follow the link in the show notes so they know you came from here. We're in round three of the Pauper Gauntlet and I am about to play White Heroes by Paterna Magic Team. The deck that ran into the unlikely mirror. And here's an opponent. Let's play against them. So we are, there are no play instructions, but we're just playing heroic guys, so we know how that works. I never be good at that. Warning, warning. But we're trying to play heroic guys, mostly Theros block cards. Uh, wow, just the Phantom Nomad. But I'm just playing 16 creatures. I should be good, glad for one creature. So I am going to keep this and I'm going to pray that I can resolve the Phantom Nomad. Just one change edict will really screw me up. Red is okay. Oh, goblins. That will be interesting. Very interesting, actually. Well, Phantom Nomad and Hina Umbra is a pretty good combo. But can we withstand goblins? It is in the sideboard plan. You have to run more than day uh, with the lifelink of hopeful Eidolon. But I could easily get swarmed here. Quite easily. And Bushwhacker will just handle me. Okay, no more lands, please. Uh, I definitely think the Phantom Nomad needs to go on the board here. And I don't think I can block with it unless there is a Whacker. Because if he bolts it out before I make it invulnerable, I don't have anything. So I don't think he can afford the Echo here. I wonder if he realizes the threat of an unkillable blocker here. He doesn't. Or he does. He doesn't pay. So now I definitely can't block. But if he casts the bushwhacker... No, I, I can't let the Nomad die. It's just a war marshal. That will be why one gigantic whacking. He might even not attack here. Or now he will definitely attack. I'm gonna cast Hyena Umbra and Journey the Sledder. Because it will or through Dias journey the creature with the most power. Taking it. All right. Hmm. Two unkillable blockers. That's even better. How much damage do I take from a good whacking? Three, five, that's a lot of damage. But I still think I have to do it that way. Now any attack costs him Two goblins. But it will be super hard to keep him away here. Mask of Law and Grace is in the sideboard, but I don't think Protection Red is the problem. Because I don't have Protection Red. He did not. Another Sledder. So now it's definitely the conscripts. Here's the bushwalker for seven extra damage. 
Wow. Yeah. That was huge. So kill him. Kill a sled there. I still die. I, I just die here. 12, 13, 14. No, I'm, I'm still alive. Though barely. Yeah, I will be dead next turn. Okay, let's hope I get... <laughs> I can find life gain. Yeah, I'm playing Journey wouldn't have helped either. So now I have to... What, what's that? Uh... Okay, that doesn't do anything here. Can we like do a, a fantastic amount of damage somehow? We can do five. And this can boost us three. So we can do eight damage. That's not enough. We barely die, but we do die. He has one more card. That could easily be uh, another bushwhacker. So maybe I should just give up here. Yeah, there is no magic that gets me around this. I just die here. I'll make him wonder what I have. Wow. It says to bring in four masks of Law and Grace, but there aren't four masks of Law and Grace in the sideboard. I have four lifelink. Wow, that card looks super bad. Uh, block, block. Lone missionary would have been sweet. Okay, there are just two masks of Law and Grace in the sideboard. And they don't look very good to me. No red acolyte. What about the raised alarm? Standard bear doesn't do anything, but raised alarm does. Gives me two blockers. I'm gonna go with that instead. Because I assume that the cards we take out aren't very good. We're taking out journeys. Well, they are too slow, aren't they? And we're taking out the Shumanos Blessing. Also pretty slow. And one conviction. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I think that more creatures has to be good for those giant blocks. I can't really mulligan into life link. But it will all be about life link. And Hopeful Eidolon, of course. I have two Hopeful Eidolons. <laughs> Sai. 20 lands. There is an Eidolon. Bestow for four. What if I play that and start piling stuff onto it? That sounds good. I think I'm going to try that. And I'm gonna keep that guy. Play the Eidolon because four mana is a pipe dream. Uh, 
And then just pile stuff onto it. And try to do it. Try to live. You might just bolt it here. And uh, that's bad. <laughs> So my, my plan didn't work out very well. And now we're back on the nomads. Which Deathspark actually work against. Unless we can make them immortal. It's quite a combo here. If we block the Foundry Street any sense. Uh... Still Nomad, we're not gonna block these guys. Can we really take six? God, this is hard. Sparksmith. I think I'm gonna block here, I have another Nomad. And I will take out one of his super aggressive creatures. So I am blocking. And then I have to enchant it. With both enchantments, I think. That should have been the Eidolon. Got a 4-4 here, but I won't fall for the trap of attacking. Or will I? No, that has to be stupid. But it is 4 damage. And it doesn't have much on the field. I'm tempted. I don't have much. I'm attacking this turn. Was that crazy? It probably was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm already regretting it. But I'm thinking that he can sparksmith all of my guys. He did not retrieve it. Probably because it doesn't do anything. I should have stayed at home and blocked. Okay, I'm not doing that again. But now that I have attacked, Sparksmith will be less efficient. I'm taking 4 damage. I traded 4 for 4. That's uh, probably crazy. Because he will whack me next turn. Five, I mean. Hmm. <laughs> I think Sparksmith could lock me out of the game completely. That's why I wanted to do it. Look at that sweet card. How big does it? It gets to 5-5. Five, five. But, God, he will whack me so hard. I think I wait till next turn. Drawing a land would have been ultra good. Yeah, I'm staying at home now. Skyguard will just die to Death Park. Well, Phantom Nomad will also die to Death Park. Vigilance would be sweet. So much damage. If I draw something that boosts me. Well he can just find the sledder and I won't do any damage with the, the lifelink. But he doesn't have a sledder yet. 
still has two cards. But they all attack. So we kill off the Sparksmith. And one of them. This is probably super good for us. We just take four, go to nine. Okay. Oh yeah, he wanted it in the graveyard. Yeah, now I'm not as afraid. Land! Trailblazer. Yeah, we are doing it. That sledder just counters this. But it could work. Why are you blocking? You don't have a sledder. What? But he can't die. Targeting Foundry Street Denison. Oh, he didn't want to give get. He didn't want me to gain life. But I don't think he can do nine, as he doesn't have any cards in hand. Okay, he can repeat that every turn, but. That doesn't seem like a viable strategy. And now I have Deathspark and one random card in hand. Yes! Okay, maybe I have to mulligan to life gain. But there are six cards, I could just draw them. Hmm. Intense. Paterna Magic Team, this is for you. I'm playing this. I'm still convinced that Raise the Alarm is very good in this matchup. For blocking pesky goblins. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, keep it. Trailblazer, Nomad. Umbra go from there. It would be a lot of blocking. Daily quests are now available. Foundry Street Denison. And I play Trailblazer! Who should be able to block here? And the question is if I do, do I really want it to get bolted? But it's one less bolt for me. Will he sacrifice one thing to get through it? That must be a super good deal for me, so I'm gonna block. To get rid of the raider. Oh, he sacrifices the cohort. Yeah, I think that was good. And then he can't do nothing about this. And now I will not block. But put stuff on this guy.
Well, taking out one Shamanist Blessing, it looks super good. This might actually work. We are in turn 3. So if he has one untapped red mana, I will not block here. And I can protect the Nomad with God's Willing. I will have to take this one attack. But I can't lose this creature. Oh. So now I can even protect it with Shamanist Blessing. Or is it better to protect it with God's Willing? This looks horrible. Umbra! Uh, okay, so now I cannot die. Then I might actually play this to just trick him. And untap it. He hasn't seen it. <laughs> Uh, and I have first strike, so I will try to get some value here. And I will of course kill the, the raider. Uh-huh. Why is this happening on my turn? That felt wrong. He should have done that in his upkeep. Here comes Mr. Bushwhacker, but it's not enough. He's not going to be able to pull through here. Okay, now I got to do it in his attack phase. As I don't have a stop there, so now I have to set the stop. He thinks this is 11 damage, but it isn't. Did I set the stop correctly? Yes. And I'm killing the raider. I'm tapping it. Blocking the raider. Still taking a lot of damage here. And I have zero use for these spells. In my hands, I'm probably gonna cycle main phase, trying to find another creature. Why did he not attack with the last guy? Shit, another... Another bushwhacker hurts a lot. But there is another creature! And Vigilance is permanent. So we can just keep attacking here. And then cycle the secluded step. If I don't have to use God's Willing. On the other Phantom Nomad. That's the plan. Yeah, Shumano's Blessing was pretty expensive. I would not have wanted two of them in my hand. So cybering out one out seems good. And not good, not good. Uh... 
Okej, okay, så so the big guy can't block. But I can kill the heal cutter himself. And I think I'm gonna use God's willing here. No, I will just cycle. But that is a risk we have to remember. And there we go. That is probably the game. Though his deck can do enormous amounts of damage. But I am getting my hopes up. Uh, Nomad. And let's start a chat with the guy. Because the match will just disappear. Alright. Uh, yeah. I'm at 11. Shamanis blessing on the one power guy. Here's a cohort. This is intense. And version 4 stopped scrolling. But any attack now gives him life. He has to have the heal cutter. And I doubt he has four of those. So I think I might be fine here. This is fantastic. Uh oh, that's not enough. It's not enough at all. He's only getting six damage through. And then I gain four, so that doesn't help. So I'm taking out that guy. Uh. Okay, block, block the cohort, and block a bushwalker, take six, gain four. And then I should probably put Shumano's blessing on the remaining phantom nomad. So the other guy is already invulnerable. First strike is neat with lifelink because then I don't have to think about the old question. Do I gain the life before I die? And I cannot remember right now if you do. There is a fire blast targeting me. But it's still just 10 damage. And I gained the life in, in advance, so that doesn't work at all. Yeah. All right, thank you for watching. White Heroes in round four of the Popagon.